Hey peeps, I'm showing you something. I, I swear I've been making this for years. Oh God, like half, at least half a decade now. And I never showed you how to make it. One of my favorite uh, comfort dishes that I came up with myself. Well, actually, no, a friend gave me this recipe and I modified it over the years and well, here we are. So I'm making you chili. It's real simple, it's real easy, it's delicious. <coughs> and I absolutely love it. So here we go. So I have a pound of ground beef. Usually it's funny, I, I think initially when I did this recipe, I did a quarter of a pound, because you really only needed a quarter of a pound of beef. And then my family was like, oh, that's not enough beef but only after they realized that I was only putting a quarter pound of beef. So I upped it to half a pound of beef and then I'd eaten it like that, but most of the time when one, this is a one pound kind of log, but two, it makes sense to just make a whole batch and freeze it, it freezes really well. So one pound of ground beef, this is a 91% lean from Costco, that's the one I normally get. <coughs> celery, six stalks of celery, I cut the bottoms and tops and then I cut it in half and then I just cut it into little semicircles. Um, two medium onions, I had a large and a small, diced, medium dice. You need two cans of red kidney beans. I'm going to drain these while the beef cooks. Um, you need eight, is it eight tablespoons? I'm going to recheck the recipe. Um, but you also need four carrots, diced. I just cut them into rounds because they're so small. But yeah, you're going to need, um, the equivalent of eight cloves of garlic. So I'm just going to use like four heaping tablespoons because that's who I am. Um, Maybe eight tablespoons, you don't know, you don't know. Uh, two uh, tablespoons of sugar. You need a tablespoon of salt. I have all my spices in here. I just carry it from my pantry in here. So uh, you're going to need two tablespoons of salt, um, a ta two tablespoons of cumin, two tablespoons of pepper, four tablespoons of chili powder, and then, oh, I didn't tell you what I got. So those are crushed tomatoes, two 28, count, two 28 ounce cans of crushed tomatoes. But this is, don't just think of this as just like, um, a static recipe sometimes what I do is I add a ton a ton of bell peppers like I just I absolutely love it with a whole bunch of bell peppers I also did a marinara sauce a very traditional marinara sauce I did with a ton of red bell peppers and they were delicious so anyway we're gonna get this beef cooking while that's cooking I'm gonna open the cans measure out the spices and um, drain and rinse the beans drain and rinse don't just drain drain and rinse the beans okay so the ground beef is done and I did all the things I said I was going to do. So I, I don't remember if I mentioned the fresh tomato. So it was like four medium tomatoes chopped, but I didn't have any. So I just used like a little uh, container of uh, grape tomatoes and just chopped them up. So those are going to go in. I'm trying to keep this light good, but whatever. The carrots and the garlic are going in. There we go. The celery. Celery's gonna go in. What is going on? Here we go. The onions. Try not to drop anything. Get all those onions. I want to get everything. Everything I paid for. Uh, the spices. I mentioned the sugar, right? Because the sugar balances out the. So here's everything. I hope I mentioned the sugar, y'all, because the sugar helps to balance out the tinny taste from the tinned uh, tomatoes that we use, the, the two 28 ounce cans of um, crushed tomatoes. I mean, you can probably use the 28 ounce cans of diced tomatoes, but the crushed ones just work best for me. Anyway, adding them in now, come on, come on. Oh, good luck. Maybe this will be good. Yeah, there we go. Comes out much easier. I'm gonna turn this down, um, but I'm gonna open that can, um, and then I'm going to. Sorry, I'm just frustrated that that can won't open. Um, so I'm gonna cook on a medium high. So we're gonna like add the cans, and I'm gonna put one at least one can worth of water. If it's a little too low, I'm gonna add both cans worth of water. Just swish it around to get the liquid out. And then we're gonna cook it on medium covered for an hour and a half. And then we'll take the cover off. So once it's been cooking, once everything's in, I'm going to mix it, of course, thoroughly. And then I'll see you in an hour and a half. So as you can see, uh, it's been going for an hour and a half. I've been stirring it every like 15, 20 minutes. So now we're just going to leave the lid off and do it for another half an hour. And then again, stirring every like 10 to 15 minutes this time. And so I'll see you when that's done. If you want like a thicker, like 
wetter chili that's fine I don't so that's why I'm doing it like this <coughs> so see you in half an hour hey y'all so it's been half an hour so I realized that um so normally I dice up the carrots but one I came in late I'm tired and two they were really thin like super thin so instead I just cut them into rounds and you can still dice them or whatever if you want to but cutting them into rounds it just worked worked for me this time but usually like most so much disintegrates you mostly just see chili and beans and then some um celery you could also if you are so bold you can probably run it through a shredder like run it through the shredder attachment of your um mixer and a mixer food processor or i still didn't wash that dish the tomatoes the thing that i pulse the tomatoes in to kind of break them up the whole tomatoes <coughs> you could do that too and it pretty much is completely hidden um and my family likes it and even though my dad's not too fond of when there's like sugar and stuff the sugar is to really balance the tinniness of the tomatoes and the other tinned you know the beans but yeah i hope you enjoy this i usually have this with rice um if you've seen my carly's um carly's cornbread that video that i made you could have it with that cornbread it's amazing i have had it with that cornbread it's amazing um but yeah i'm gonna make some rice and eat this and like i said this has a ton of servings so i cannot wait to divide this up have lunches and dinners and i'll see you in the next video bye